So I want to start by saying that we equip leaders. That's the first thing we need to understand. We equip leaders who then impact their communities. So our model is not necessarily to, for Crown to go to the end user. We believe that in equipping you who are living and moving and having your being in your community, that's how we will reach the community. It's impossible for us. It's been mentioned two or three times this morning that we are 24, 25 full-time staff members in the home office. And then we've got uh, wonderful people all across the world serving their nations, but they also only a few. And it's impossible for us to reach all the people. So how do we do that? By equipping leaders. And with what do we equip them with? First of all, materials and solutions that are based on the Word of God. <coughs> Biblical principles. And Chuck shared it this morning, and I'm just going to iterate that again and reinforce that again. There's nothing that Crown will do that is not based 100% on the Word of God. The inerrant Word of God. <coughs> That is a core value, and that is something we strive for. We also, when we bring a solution, we want to use what people already have. We want them to understand that Crown is not coming to do um, relief work. Relief work is very, very important when there's natural disasters. Um, some people need relief. And, and we are all for it. But that's not per se what we do. We will come behind the relief organization and say to the people, what do you have? And whatever you have and what God has given you, we want to help you, train you, encourage you to use that because that's where your solution lies. And what better way to see it then in God provides the story of the widow and oil. When Elijah asked her, what do you have? Her first response was, I have nothing. And wherever we go around the world, that's many times the first response we hear. In fact, even here in the U.S., that's a response we get. I have nothing. And then God needs to help us to train and equip leaders to help people who give that answer to say, no, you've got something. Let's see what you have. And whatever that little bit of oil is that you have, let's present it to the Lord. And let's see what he can do with and through that. And then lastly, um, in, in what we do, we are focusing on ending personal and generational poverty. Poverty is not just material. Poverty could be a lack of understanding, no, no, zero understanding of my identity, or a lack of purpose, a lack of financial understanding, a, a spirit of poverty, uh, understanding and mindset of poverty. It, poverty is more than just material. <coughs> And our aim in Crown Solutions is to address personal poverty mindset in all its, all its uh, facades, but also generational. You see in many communities around the world, you will see that people are born into certain situations. And many of them can never get out of that cycle. There are a few that break that cycle and praise God for them. But we want to see the masses break that cycle and come out of that bondage that's holding them and stopping them from living lives that, that are flourishing, lives that Christ came to set them free from. 
We want to encourage them to live those lives.